Hey guys, what's up? It's Brandon, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about making your own wax mesh, um, or dyeing your own mesh, as you have seen me do. Um, so, what I'm talking about is that there are different kinds of base meshes, uh, is what we call them, um, that you can get to make your, either your own wax mesh or your own dyed mesh, um, or both, depending on what you want to do. Um, but basically, the three there's three that I would that I really think are good. Um, one of them is the Gemalax. Um, so Gemalax soft mesh is it's it's uh, some so really soft stuff. Another one that I this is my personal favorite is the string is the Stringer Shack uh, ultralight mesh, ultralight soft mesh. Um, just the ultralight. It's the softest of them. You have se you've seen uh, if you've seen the review, you know how soft it is. It's really soft. It feels like a shooter, like a cotton shooter would, but it's mesh. Um, so that's one of the ones. Um, this is for a semi, uh, for a semi soft kind of wax mesh, um, because it's so soft that when you add the wax, it'll only stiffen it oh so much. Um, then you have the, it's on my gamer back there, but, um, the Stringer Shack Ultralight Magnum, Magnum mesh, Magnum soft mesh. Um, that one's also soft. It's not as soft as this, but it is softer than the than the nylon. Um, I wouldn't really recommend the nylon for uh, for wax mesh because this is already kind of already getting into the stiffer side of meshes, and um, it it just be really unless you want to make a hard wax mesh. Uh, I wouldn't use this stuff, and it's really it's really bulky. Um, as you could see, this they're fully in. I haven't stretched these too much, and you could see that it's a lot bulkier. Um, it might not look if you don't know that much about lacrosse. It might not look like a lot, but it is a lot bulkier. Um, but yeah, and it's also thicker. If you see them, it's thicker too. So yeah, I would probably most likely dec um, recommend the ultra light soft mesh. Can't remember these names. Too many meshes, um, but yeah, I, this is the one I would use the most because me personally, I like a softer kind of wax mesh. Um, there are people that like harder wax meshes for that. I would, I, like I said, the ultralight magnum um, for that. But if you want a soft, the softest mesh that you can possibly get from wax, mm. I'd probably use this. Um, uh, it's great stuff. But yeah, and for for dyeing mesh. Like, like I've died here. Um, I didn't. I only had one of these pieces, so I couldn't. Uh, so I couldn't die one of these. So I couldn't die and see how hard it gets. But um, from seeing these, um, this one here is the. Um, this one here is the same as the the nylon soft mesh, and as you can see, it's it's still pretty soft, um, but it's still much stiffer than this. Um, so now it's kind of like a semi-hard kind of mesh. And it has a pretty nice dye, so that makes it that much better. Um, but yeah, and it, it it feels different. Like you could definitely feel there's something on it. You you wouldn't be able to know right away what it was, but you could definitely feel something. And it does make it harder and stiffer because it, it, I could still get it to the same size diamonds as these, but it does take a little bit more effort. Um, so it's it's definitely harder. That's, there's no doubt in that. But then at the same time, what I thought was really good and neat um, was that uh, if this one, I not I believe this one was the, 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 the let me think. Um, this is either, this is the semi-soft, this is the semi-soft or, or semi-hard mesh. Hmm. I'm not sure, but anyway, they were both really stiff to start off with, and it's still stiff, but I don't, I think it, this one actually got a little less stiff, and if you're gonna, if you're selling this, if you're trying to sell these, um, I'd probably use one of the softer meshes that will stay soft, but if it's to string right away, and you want to make sure that that pocket will not, um, will be very stiff and stuff, um, I'd get one of these two, one of the two, let me see if I, I don't know where the, f where the other one went, I'm pretty sure I had four pieces probably somewhere around the office um but anyway um i I'd, I'd use one of these two because right after you take it out out of the really hot water it's super soft it's almost like one of the soft meshes 
Um, but then again, if you are selling it, you could just give some instructions so that when once they get it, they have to soak it in some hot water so that it gets really soft. If you don't know, that's a trick to do for hard mesh. I'll make another video on that. Um, I'll make another video on that. But yeah, um, that's basically it. That's all I wanted to talk to you guys about today. Um, about making different wax and cut dyed mesh. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you guys liked it, like the button. Um, hit that like button. Comment what you guys would like to see in future videos, and subscribe to me if you guys have.